What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to link tables in Airtable. My name is Ben Green. If you don't know me, I'm the owner of Optimize IS. We help business owners go online and have their team work remotely. We help them optimize their workflows, optimize their data sets, be more present online with like cloud-based softwares such as like Asana, Slack, Airtable, and many others. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial on how to link tables in Airtable. All right, so if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with a friend. Uh, just so we can get to as many Airtable users as possible and help people learn how to use the platform. So if you watched the last video, our first video, the Airtable basic tutorial for beginners, you can see we created this spreadsheet right here. What we're going to do is we're going to unlock the power of Airtable's relational database in this tutorial. Um, and you can see there's this task column over here. I already started playing around with it a little bit, but we're just going to start from scratch here. We're going to add another table and this one's going to be tasks and we're going to delete these two fields right here as well um, so we're going to have task name we're going to have a description um, just to make this very short and sweet and we'll also link to the employees table and this will be like you're assigning this task so this will be assignee So what you could do here is you could do a single select, but we're gonna actually do a link. That way we can either add one person or more I and mean, it will pull in their information as well. And this is really effective in project management tutorial and like project management basis because you can see more information than just like their name per se. So we will save that for now. But first I wanna come in here and add some data in here. So this one's going to be task one. This one will be task two, task three. The little description is this one's easy, this one's hard, and this one takes 10 minutes. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make this a link field. Um, so the way you do that is you come in here and you change the field type and you change it to link to another record. And then you choose which table you want to link this record to. So for this, we're tracking the tasks. So I want to link this to the employees table so I can assign one of my employees in that table to this record, to this task. So these are lookup fields. You can also pull in other information from that employees tab when you do a link record. But for the short and easy tutorial here, we're not gonna pull those in quite yet. So we'll hit skip. So that's perfect. That's all we needed to do. So you just to add a linked record, you come in here and hit the plus and you can choose whichever one you want. I'm just gonna do me and I'll do John for this one and John for this one. So I've assigned those and that's all good now. I can come up here and view this as the assignee. Uh, so I can see John has two tasks, et cetera. You can also come over to the employees tab and say for John, I want to see which tasks he has assigned to him. And so one way is I can just come over here and look right over here. I can see he has task two and task three over here on the right. Or what I can do is I can come over here and expand this record. And I can just come in here, expand it, and I can scroll down to the bottom because it's at the field types at the end. And I can see he has task two, three assigned to him. Um, I can do the same thing for me and we can see Elena Doe, she has no tasks assigned to her because we didn't assign her to any in here. But I can also assign her multiple records to one field because this is a one-to-many relationship. So I can see here for task two, we have John Doe and Elena Doe, but John Doe can also be in multiple tasks. But if we come back over here, we can see that task two now shows up for both Elena and John. So that's the basic tutorial of how to link records in Airtable. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you now know how to link these records. Airtable also just released Airtable Sync, which I will go to in another video. But I hope, hope this was helpful. You can click the next recommended video to figure out how to use Airtable Sync and link records from one Airtable base to another Airtable base, which prior to September 2020, it was, that was not possible. They just released this. This is a new feature. So if you want to learn how to do that, hit the, the next recommended video. Also hit subscribe if you thought it was helpful. Hit the like. Share it with a friend again. 
Um, if you just want some help with your Airtable bases or if you want to help your team work more remotely, uh, you can go click the link or re request a consultation in the description of this video and you can request a time to speak with me, me and my team, and we will get you set up working online, working with these cloud systems. So I hope this was helpful and go ahead and watch the next video if you want.